Hi, my name is Olio Canola and welcome back to my channel. My channel's mission is generational wealth, self-growth and property investment. If you haven't yet subscribed, click the subscribe button at the bottom and be notified when I release a new video. I think at the beginning I spoke about um, really two phases, right? And it, when I think of a, a recession and going into a recession, you've really got to think about it from the two sides of a coin. You've got the protect element and then you've got the exploit element. So, in, and please mention a few of them and I'll just go. So if we just focus on protect. So how do you protect yourself, your family, your friends, and your business? Um, I think the first thing you want to do is how do you protect your job? So one thing you learn through a recession is, or it becomes more apparent during a recession is how important your individual skill is and how can you upskill so that you become um, to a point where you're irreplaceable in your workplace, mm. right? So that could be, and we should have been doing this even prior to a recession, if it's new training, new skills, new qualifications, where your employer, if they're going to make that tough decision, they're like, damn, we can't let go of Shawal. He's got MBA, he's doing this, like, now nah, we can't get rid of him. And even if they do, you know what? Shawal can pick up the phone to a competitor and say, hey, I've got my MBA, I've got these qualifications, this is my experience, you can get another job. So how do you protect yourself? I think a second element of it, which people don't realize how important it is, is that cash is king. Now, a lot of people like to say cash is trash, invest it, invest it, get rid of it, whatever, et cetera. I think when you get into a recession and even with this inflation element, you realize how important cash is for two standpoints. One, from a standpoint of emergency fund. So if you are to lose your job, do you have three months, six months of emergency fund where you could protect yourself and your family? And then secondly, do you have cash there where you can be ready to deploy? And that's the exploit part, which I'll cover later. But do you have cash ready that you can exploit and invest? Now, some people will say, oh, but we've got a 9% 9% inflation, your your cash is worth 9%. Hey, if I had that in Netflix, that's down 75% or 70%. 9% doesn't sound that bad in comparison to it, right? So cash is king. Next thing is really, are you able to lock in any variable or any of your interest rates, right? We're going to see interest rates go up. So if you're someone that's got variable interest rates on your mortgages or other elements, is there opportunity for you to lock that in? And this interest rate thing is not something where people can sit on their high horse and say, oh, look at the people just buying houses now. You guys are going to pay high interest rates. Guess what? All your all your mortgages are going to go through remortgaging and you're going to come out your fixed period and you're going to have to sign up to a new interest rate. Everyone is going to feel it, right? But if you're in a variable one, how can you protect yourself? Lock yourself in maybe for two, five years. Like Shuwal said, we're not your financial advisor. Speak to your financial advisor. This is what I'm doing. <laughs> next element in that protection side is going through your budgeting so you want to understand what are you spending your money on and what is inflation recession sort of impacted so like there's elements that you can't control you've got to spend on food right but hey myself instead of me doing uber eats or Deliveroo where that service yeah, charge is <laughs> going up. Maybe I can cook <laughs> cook at home. So understanding your budget, understanding where you're spending, where can you save or cut back on and even have the conversation with your partner or even yourself to say, hey, scenario test. Hmm. If we were, if I was to lose my job, what are some of the things we could cut back on or not? And hey, when you cut back on that money, it's not just so that you keep it there, which we'll talk about on the exploit part is, how do you prepare and get money ready so that you can start to invest? Um, and then the last sort of protect point that I will say is, which a lot of companies, and this is more businesses, is be careful of your leverage and how much debt you carry. And I think so many businesses are going to go out of, um, out of business due to the fact they've got such a high debt level and they're not making enough income or profit associated to that. Same with us personally we invest in property, right? A lot of people have purchased properties that are overvalued 
if it if there's a slight pullback on it, you might get to a negative equity position. So during that period of time, is it is it are you able to do some repayments so that you can protect yourself from that um, negative equity? And then the second side of that coin is how do you exploit? So exploiting means that during this period of time where people are fearful, this is the best time to invest. Now, personally, myself, right, I think the the last sort of few months has been realization, I'll say a realization into generational wealth, into finance and investing, right? In 2020, we saw a massive correction in which I invested a lot of money into the markets. We saw really big growths. In 2021, last year, if I'm honest, I didn't invest that much into the market because I wasn't excited. Everything was just so overpriced, right? In 2021, I didn't buy any crypto. I didn't buy any of any of my Apple stocks. The only thing I pretty much purchased was um, oil and gas stocks, and that's because I get a disc, <laughs> I get a discount on it, and um, it wasn't as highly valued, right? Now I've started to become excited again to invest in the market because I've seen such massive corrections in the market where I'm like, okay, Amazon has gone down by a certain amount. This is now the nice time to buy. If I was willing to buy Amazon when it was at all time highs, why am I not excited to buy it when it's thirty percent down? If I'm excited to buy Facebook when it was fifty percent higher, why wouldn't I be excited to buy it now? So this is the time. This there's a saying that is when people are greedy, that's when you should be fearful and say there's too much valuation increasing bubbles. Let me stay out the market because doing nothing is not a bad thing. But now when everyone's fearful and you're seeing these massive corrections where we probably won't, we don't get that many of these corrections in our lifetime, this is the best time to be investing, increase your investing there. And the biggest thing I would say to people, right, is do not sell, right? We have seen there's been multiple recessions over the years. And each time there's been a recession, there's been a, there's been a recovery in most of the top top businesses and the indexes has always gone up and recovered so please 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 don't be forced to sell just because you see a correction if you were investing for five if you were planning to invest for 10 20 30 years this is a small dip in the grand scheme of 30 years so don't be forced to sell now i can understand you reallocating you might say hey i had my money in netflix i don't really believe in the philosophy of Netflix or whatever, don't put that into cash. You might want to reallocate that to another company like Amazon, Facebook, whatever you think makes sense and see that go up. But don't be forced or out of fear to sell your money. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. Again, not financial advice, but I've split into what am I doing to protect myself and what am I doing to exploit? And right now I've already like yesterday, um, I basically increased all my investments into the stock markets, etc. Because I'm like, hey, these investments are 10, 20 years. In 10, 20 years time, I'm sure it's going to increase. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe and come on this journey of financial freedom and generational wealth. Take care and see you next time.